Good Friday morning, folks. TGIF. This is a great morning here at the RCF, and we are going to get underway with another scorecard update. Uh, but first, I'm going to run through uh, just a couple quick announcements yet again on uh, the new quoting tool that we have released. Uh, today's Friday. It was mid last week, uh, early last week. We had released 10 coupons for $40 off. Those 10 have been used. Um, and then so now once you click the download for $47 link, it will give a 50% off coupon code, which is still a big deal. It's just that $40 off was like a 95% savings or 90% savings. Maybe not that close. <laughs> Maybe somewhere around there. Anyway, it is still a, a decent discount, but there are 50 of these available. Um, once those are done, the price will go to the standard 47 um, and I believe we're just going to keep it there until we kind of revamp it and, and see what version two has for us. So this coupon code is going to remain there for the next 50. I believe there are, there have been four, four or five that have been used as of this morning, March 22nd, but be sure to uh, check this out. If this, if, if quoting a house cleaning job um, is stressful for you. This will help you get an accurate quote that makes sure that you're charging enough, but not too much. Uh, keeps you charge from charging uh, too little, and then we, it turns right around and is able to generate a, an incredible proposal there that you can then send to your client, your prospective client, uh, and then close the deal. Um, we've got a, a bigger screenshot of the dashboard here. They are purposefully cropped here. That's to kind of um, just give a little taste of what's there. Uh, we've got our list of benefits. And then I break out every single part of the quote here um, and explain it there. So you can see each section uh, by itself. And then there's the proposal. And then down here is a video walkthrough. Uh, if you want to check that out, uh, scroll down a little bit. And um, or there's even a click here. I should make that a blue button. So if you click there, it brings you out automatically down to that video. Second product, this is not released, not really good. I don't believe we're gonna do this for $100 yet. Um, this is starting out as the dollars per visit tracker. Now, the majority of people that use software to manage their company are already gonna be able to have this somewhere in there. But if you're just starting out and you're not tracking anything uh, with regard to your finances, this is a good place to start. Seeing how much you are making per visit um, and then trying to increase that number every single month after that. Um, it also uh, records the or it tracks the revenue and the number of visits. And then we will have an upgrade where you can also track your expenses so you can get income uh, reporting, profit reporting, stuff like that. Or income is already on there under revenue. Uh, but this was just uh, set up over the last two days. So this order doesn't work yet. We're not really pushing this. This is the first time. I've said anything about it online, um, but I think this will be a good spot for folks to start if they're not tracking any of their finances and they just need a simple spreadsheet um, to jot those numbers down. And we have this set up. Um, it goes back from back to 2020. So if you want to backfill some data and see how it looked in previous months and years, that's perfect as well. But the spreadsheet is set up all the way to 2050. Um, so it'll come set up. 2050. So those are the two products we're working on to get them delivered uh, to the hardworking house cleaners uh, of America and around the world. All right, let's get it at, get at it. Sorry, with this uh, scorecard update and our I put the date here now. No, December 23rd is 90 days ago. They're in the upper left, um, right by members. So now I don't have to. Ask Alexa every single time when 90 days ago was. It just auto-populates it um, as the new day happens. So for custom maids, we've got 320 opportunities, 140 estimates delivered, 68 wins. So we're going up, not terribly, 24 points or so, but hey, we like it. I'm 
going to, all right, Dayton. All right, making sure it's not stuck on custom aids. Okay, oh, well, geez. Oh, you texted them eight minutes ago. I can see that person put my alias as their email. So good, you blacklisted that one. Get it out of there. December 23rd here for Dayton. We've got a number of 303 opportunities, 81, 21. All right, let's see, Las Vegas. All right, 126, 52, and 10. Oh, it stayed the same, I didn't need to do that. Well, let me make sure that went, yes, okay. Um, Riverside, we've got Daniel here. Let's see, we've got some movements. We had, or movement, we had a few estimates added yesterday. Um, and now I believe, yeah, you are third overall in terms of most estimates delivered. And well, let me come over here. Estimates delivered, you are third. And in terms of the ratio, you are second. So that, that means, oh, Mount Airy is the best, then Riverside, then Bay City. Mount Airy is the only one that is better than you at delivering more estimates. So keep doing that. But we've also got to get those wins across because there's another ratio column here uh, that is starting to go very red. Um, of course, it does save your effort score from not being also very red because that first one, your your opportunities to estimates ratio is, is very, very good. Well, let's see. Let me see if you've added more. It could even be better. Maybe you're number one now. 137 leads, 65 and six. Okay, so we lose an estimate, but get a win. I'll take that. 137, 65, 6. You are right on the tails of Las Vegas. And you delivering more estimates that way. Let me just show you something real quick. If you were to win four more, you're going to like soar past him. You'd be at 829, right? You'd be... 200, 190 points ahead of him on your ACQ. Uh, and that has a lot to do with you delivering more estimates. You get credit for delivering those estimates. So, I mean, great job. Even though it dropped one, it just means that you had an estimate delivered 91 days ago. So December 22nd, you probably marked in here uh, an estimate that was delivered. But now, since we are only looking at the previous 90 days, it has fallen off. All right. Let's see, we've got Reagan here. 228, 35 and eight. All right, all right. Ozarks, oh my gosh, this is the first time I think we've ever had three members with RCF's, RCF scores over a thousand. That just means we've been, <laughs> you've been with us long enough and I can't, I've gotten you enough leads in this past 90 days where it's gotten full. Um, so everyone in the thousands is like pretty similar in terms of how many leads they've gotten. All right, Ozarks. Um, so Dayton and Orlando. It's a good, this is, this is interesting actually. The RCF is very similar. It's actually even better, even though we've gotten um, like 80 fewer opportunities, but it is because we are doing it 
for a lower cost. So like we're averaging lead costs of oh, like $2.60 less than in Dayton. And that that really helps out because at the end of the day, it's all based off of that $250 finder's fee. So if we can get you leads cheaper and you're closing more leads, that's a perfect storm for us to go and collect more finder's fees. Oh my gosh, I was like, why is that? Oh, this is Ozarks. Sorry, we already... Twenty seven and five staying the same there. Okay, no problem. I think we've got a win to add here. I got a notification, but I want to make sure it's legitimate. It's not accidental. And it's not. Hold on. Well, 54, 14, and 3. So Tyler Siebold, it looks like it was that one. Yep, so that's the one you marked as one, but there's still an estimate delivered. So I'm just going to move them to service schedule. Nothing changes, it's already in the estimate delivered, but that will help with the organization. This person, Hold on. Oh, this is good. Oh, wait. A one-time detailed deep cleaning for this one. Okay, so this is this is terrific. Um, I see the note in this one that says um, he's reached out for his one-time detailed cleaning and booked an appointment for April 2nd. It's only March 22nd right now, so we want to refrain from marking wins um until they've paid you because if you mark it as one that triggers everything for a finder's fee if they're recurring or not in this case he is uh, not recurring it's one time so this wouldn't cause an issue anyway but going forward please um wait to mark them as one until um you've you've gotten paid from them they have paid their invoice because if someone has gotten cleaned from you and not paid um, that's not really a sign of a happy client yet, and so we, we don't really feel good charging a finder's fee yet. Um, other than that, um, this is terrific, so I think I still need to, yeah, I didn't update this one. So 54, 14, and 3, a huge jump forward. And now we'll move on to Houston. And this is, this is great news for the overall average ACQ, of course. Wait, Houston is this year only. 105, 17 and 2. Okay. This one here. We've got a lot of leads in the new lead and up to call attempt. We've got a service schedule. This is incredible. Um, but let's make sure we get a tag on there so we know what it is. And I see one more with an opportunity value in there. So that leads me to believe that you could have even like one more estimate delivered in here and a few more ACQ points. Um, nevertheless, that's, we're rolling there, rolling right along into Chicago too. All right, these ones as well, um, still we're building up leads in the beginning of the pipeline and we cannot be doing that. Uh, make sure we get to the ones in the new lead stage, call attempt one and then update them right after that. That way I know to stop nagging about it. All right. 66, 15, and 1. We got to get a win here ASAP. Mount Airy. This one is actually a oh, wow. It hasn't been a lead in two days, which I mean. He's only called them once. All right. 
So this one is a little bit slower, um, but the pipeline in here is great. I mean, it, it's moving great. We've got three in service scheduled, three in estimate delivered. So um, the more we see that, I know that ACQ is kind of plummeting here, but we're seeing that like the reason for it is you're only in second place behind Ozarks for how expensive it is to get a, an opportunity in that area. And that just, that presents some challenges for us as well. It just means I mean, people are not filling out the form uh, as often, but Ozarks has also gotten 20 leads here as well. And I think that you guys are really like neck and neck in terms of these, uh, your ACQ, I should say. So let's say um, there's three in service scheduled, three with estimate delivered. Let's say you win four of them. Um, that would bring your number to five. That's going to rocket you to a positive ACQ score right away. So um, that would near, that exactly mirrors the conversion rate of uh Ozarks launching you ahead because uh, your acquisition cost is now even less as well. Um, in addition to the three more estimates you delivered. Um, I'm gonna go and sort this though. I don't believe anything's going to change and just do it anyway. And then I'll snapshot these averages and we'll be done here. Oh my gosh, I don't want that map. All right, still got that red one there, but it is better than yesterday, I noticed. I had to set up and build a script to do this part automatically, I think. So here, let's see, okay, we're up 19 points up there, we're up overall. Um, this is better than it was yesterday, everything is better or the same minus that one. It's got to start somewhere, right? I also moved. I'm going to hide those, but not this one. This is only the snapshot of the previous 90 days. It's because we moved the charts. I want to see what this is doing here, though. Look, I don't know why that's not green. But I think something might be messed up with conditional formatting. Yeah, it just needs to go down one more row. All right, the chart for that is over here. This is going to show up once a week on the RCF website. We're just going to do an update. Um, I normally didn't include RCFI before. Uh, the red one is RCF, yellow is ACQ. As you know, the ACQ is the member's ability to win a new client. The RCF is the program's ability to generate a new lead or sales opportunity. And then the blue RCFI is the combination of both. That is the overall health of the two. Um, so you can see the RCF score will, will gradually go up and then it'll drop suddenly and then kind of grind its way back up. The drop, that will happen when we bring on, like we have an influx of new members um, because the, everything starts at zero. The RCFs will start at zero, so it drops what we've worked our way up to. Um, but for a lot of the times, it ended up helping the ACQ in order to bring someone new in so that they had a score of zero or a negative one or negative 100. And they were better by a long shot than many other members who were in there with negative, you know, 1,000, negative 1,800, stuff like that. So this gives me just kind of a visual look at what the last 90 days are and just see where we're going up, where we're going down very quick. I can see RCF is still grinding back up once we're at our norm, but our RCF reached a peak, or our ACQ reached a peak on March 3rd. We've been trailing down since then. And that's, it will trend down a little bit every day, but we don't want to see this prolonged right? We want to see estimates still getting delivered. We want to see those wins coming across because at the end of the day, we need those finder's fees. Uh, so that's where the charts are for now. These three are moved over there. So this average sheet is just uh, the overall log and then this picture of the last 90 days. Um, but that is today's RCF scorecard update. This is the official view with the program standings, classes, tiers, and metal, uh, all time medals into view here. Um, so today's Friday, second day of March Madness. That's where I'll be spending most of my day today. 
but if you have any questions about the RCF or about this video or anything related to house cleaning client acquisition, drop it below. We'll get back with you. We'll talk to you soon.